my pendant's been fixed. Seemed like it was priceless, so I gave it back. You're like a walking billboard saying I've got money with that thing. I mean, it looked important to you. It's not like I was going to just take it. Listen, I'm really sorry about what my buddies did. The name's Speedwagon. I'm a small-time criminal. I can't get you to a dock until morning with this blizzard going on. Lucky for you, the wound isn't as deep as I thought. You'll be fine. Uh, if I may, what was a kid like you doing in a part of town like that? Do you really want to know? Well, if you don't want to talk, that's fine. If you're willing to tell, though, I'm all ears. Don't feel like you have to or anything. I'm just nosy. Sorry to cause you so much trouble. Thanks for all your help, Speedwagon. But I must be going. Hold it! Don't get up! You're injured! I won't be needing a doctor. Your... Your scars have... When you discovered me, didn't you have a gut feeling that something wasn't right? At the very least, you must have noticed when you dressed my wounds. My body is cold to the touch. My heart is not beating. Do you have the stomach to listen to my tale? Or would you prefer to withdraw quietly? If you want me to listen, then give me the word. I don't know why you came here, or what happened to your body, but answer me this. Do you, or do you not? Have a human heart. <laughs> Emotions that I had bottled up for so long came rushing back all at once. I had been raised in such a warm and loving home, I didn't know how lucky I was until it was all snatched away from me that day. Feelings of happiness and compassion were replaced by misery, unease and hatred for Dio. I closed my heart off, plagued by a never-ending sense of dread. I'm a vampire. It's up to you whether you want to believe it. The real reason I came here... I... I'm searching for a way to become human again. I was looking for an unpopulated place and happened upon your street. That's when I attacked you. I hope you'll forgive me. It all seems like something out of a fairy tale. But there's no other explanation. How else could you have recovered from a cut that deep so quickly? I'm a prideful guy. I always hated those stuck-up blue blood types. But you're different. I can tell from your devotion to your family, your conviction. You're a true gentleman. I'll do anything in my power to help you. Now, just hearing me out is enough. I couldn't ask for more. Looks like it's almost dawn already. You can call me Joe Star. Thank you, Speedwagon. Oh. Hey, Joe Star! Just hearing the words you're a vampire is enough to arouse my desire for blood. I've got to fight back against this demon inside me. 
If I could just find somewhere to sleep, I could make it. Somewhere. Anywhere. And so, I fell into a long, dreamless slumber. When I awoke, my hunger had not abated, but it had weakened somewhat. However, when I read through that morning's paper, I discovered that three entire years had passed while I slept. Whether it was by fate or by chance, I can't say. But when I stopped into the art gallery that had sold us the mask in the beginning, I learned of a young man who had come to investigate my disappearance. Dio! In the four years since I'd seen him, Dio had grown considerably more adult. Why would he be looking for me? And the man seated next to him, he said that he'd been searching for the stone mask. Maybe he knows something about how to reverse it. Pardon me. Uh, my apologies, but I couldn't help but listen in. I overheard you talking about the stone mask. So you're the one who's been tailing me since I left the bar. From what I can tell, you don't seem to be a human being. Who knows about the mask's power? About vampires? Maybe he can help me. Uh, hold on. You know about vampires? I don't know what your intentions were for following me here. But I warn you. My blood doesn't tend to agree with your kind. Uh, no! I, I mean... I don't suck blood! Is that so? I was under the impression that all the vampires crave blood. Yes, holding it back can be excruciating at times. But I've sworn on my life that it'll never come to that. A vampire who wants to suck blood, huh? That must take some tremendous willpower. What on earth would you want with a boring old me? You seem to know a lot when it comes to the stone mask. I was hoping you could help me with something. The mask! I know it. You're the friend that he was talking about. It seems I've created yet another victim. I'm the one who discovered that cursed thing. What? Really? I don't know your story. So what I'm about to say is intended for the mask that pierced your brain, not for you. I've finally found you. <laughs> I know of only one way you can be saved. Just one. <laughs> Think you're gonna dodge, eh? Wait! Please! I'm only trying to... It burns! Even though he just nicked me! It burns! Just like the sunlight! I've been studying that mask as long as I can remember. Including the ways to defeat the creatures born of it. With this ripple, I can carry out my duty! My duty! To destroy every violet trace of that mask. All I want is to turn back to normal. <gasps> there is no way to revert the effects of the mask. Your mind will be taken over before long. Soon, you will be terrorizing this realm in a search of blood. That's not true. I've been researching this for years. I know there's a way. And I'd never resort to drinking another human's blood. I'm still human. Yes, that's why I'm asking you now before it's too late. If you let me do this before you lose your mind for that mask's influence, then we can prevent a catastrophe. Let me stop you before you end up hurting someone you love. <laughs> Wait! 
Wait! Is it done already? You've suffered far too much for someone of your character, boy. Your pain is my pain. As such, your crimes are my responsibility. I chose this path. I'm not going to stray from it now. I still have to atone. Is there really no turning back? Answer me. That's all I ask. That's the one thing I wish for with all my heart. If I can't go back to normal, I won't be able to preserve my humanity. I'll become a bloodthirsty animal, just like he said. Danny. Erin. Father. Dear. I'll never forget that day you came and immediately set out to deprive me of everything I treasured. Including my human life. Answer me, Mask. Was it by chance that he met with my father? Or is this how things were meant to be? I think it's time I make a choice for myself. A season came and went. Dio came forth as the rightful heir to the Joe Star estate. The time is nigh. My old room hasn't changed a bit. Then again, neither have I. It wouldn't be right to just call this revenge. I guess we were just born under the same unlucky star, dear. <gasps> what? What is this doing here? Are you satisfied, dear? How does it feel to have everything in the palm of your hand? How does it feel? And just like that, time resumes.